When Disney Animation makes a movie, believe it or not, like uh, academics, they do research first. They were looking for a robot that was different from all the robots you see in the movies, like the Terminator or the Transformer. And at the time, we were building inflatable arms. Uh, we were interested in arms with no bones whatsoever, so essentially balloon-like arms. Clearly, an inflatable balloon-like robot gives them a completely different look. What we're trying to do with soft robotics is find a way to use technology to help people, in particular people with disabilities and older adults. If you're going to help people do things like comb their hair or brush their teeth or feed them or, or dress them or undress them or clean them, there's just no way you can get a big, heavy robot up close to someone safely. Most people think of robots either as tools for industry or military things. But when you say a robot is going to help you be your servant or take care of you, uh, that's a stretch for most people. So I think one of the messages of this movie is going to very clearly say there is a role for robots to help people. One of the problems right now when, with existing technologies, when you think about electronics, when you think about sensors, motors, a, a lot of the, the machines that you see in you know, commercial devices, um, they're made out of really rigid materials, materials uh, that are completely on the opposite end of the spectrum uh, when it comes to how rigid and elastic they are compared to natural biological tissue. When you talk about actual physical contact with a person, you have to be really careful with the types of materials that we use. We want to use materials uh, that are safe for contact. Um, they aren't going to be uncomfortable, like say if you kind of you know, wear them, say in a glove or some kind of robotic clothing or assistive device. Um, and they also have to preserve our natural function. So in my lab, we are developing different types of sensors and actuators and robots using soft materials, like robot-like, highly structured and deformable materials. We make very small microchannels inside, and then this microchannel is filled with liquid metal or some other liquid conductor. The application could be you can wear this material in your body, so when you move around, you detect it. The material can detect how much you are moving, and if there is any contact made on your body. We really want to focus on developing new types of robotic arm or systems using soft materials and flexible materials so that increases human safety. So um, what, what, I was, what I've been developing here at the lab is a hybrid robot that, that merges elements of uh, conventional uh, rigid robots and soft robots. So uh, for example, we have like a very lightweight internal skeleton. So it, it, it's rigid It makes sure that the arm only moves in ways we want it to, but it's very, very lightweight. So even if it bumps something, it doesn't have the momentum to cause um, any, any damage or any harm. Most people have no idea what a soft robot is, and I think everybody will uh, in a few weeks. And that's gonna be a huge change for our field. 